All right, guys, so check it out. Here is my Unibeast boot disc that I'm using in order to uh, boot to, in order to build my Hackintosh and to go into the actual um, Apple um, boot screen. So hopefully this thing will finish spinning in a second and we'll actually be able to finish out uh, the initial version of this install. Um, I've got my trusty Mac uh, Book Pro right beside me just in case I run into any trouble but so far so good I was able to update the BIOS for my motherboard that was pretty simple and now I'm just going through uh, making sure that everything else happens with this particular install alright guys so check it out um, as you can see it's like 1.20 in the morning and I've been fucking with this graphics card and with trying to boot into OSX for like three hours and what I realized is going to save you all a lot of trouble if you're trying to build your own Hackintosh so listen up what I was initially doing was trying to I was running a DVI into this Asus uh, GTX 680 card and I was able to see the initial Apple screen spinning but for whatever reason it wouldn't boot and I was just getting so frustrated but I took a deep breath and put on my, my, my thinking goggles and realized, wait a minute, I hadn't even been able to run Multi-Beast, which is the second part of Unibeast. You need Unibeast to actually install the operating system and Multi-Beast installs the, draw, the drivers, excuse me, and all the functionality. So I hadn't had an opportunity to run uh, Multi-Beast yet, so it would make perfect sense that the graphics card would not function. However, with it plugged into the motherboard, this graphics card right here, it was doing something weird with my actual DVI port that came on the motherboard. So what I did as a last ditch effort was remove said graphics card, which is right there on top of those Zaxby's boxes and plug directly into my motherboard uh, DVI port. And from there we had success and I'm able to actually go in and do a disk utility and the rest is as they say, hopefully history. So. If you're attempting this and you have an expensive higher end graphics card like a 680 or a 660, do not even put it in until after you've installed the operating system and got everything squared away. Then put your drivers in, pop your video card in, and then you can actually use that powerful video card. So, it's just one of the things I want to tell you because it's unique for each and every individual um, Hackintosh bill but that was my little hiccup I hope and hopefully we can move forward so stand by for the last couple pieces of this series looks like we finally have us a working Macintosh I'm sorry the camera's drifting it's in my hand um, but let's take a look at a couple of things and I still got stuff all on the floor I've been trying to make sure that I got everything working and looks like I've succeeded um, I think I showed you before but just to show you again we should have two slots here that will actually work at some point yeah there we go so we got both of our disk slots working check we've got our tower lights working all the fans are working the radiator um, CPU cooler is working fans are turned up high everything is working there power button re power button there we go sorry power button reset button is working hadn't tested the firewire port yet but um, we do have audio which is a good thing um, we've got our wireless keyboard working I believe You can kind of see it on screen, but it's working. You can hear it doing its thing. Um, here is my mouse, and where is it? There it goes. It's working. So, yeah, everything's working. Uh, I got YouTube loaded up now, and it was a bitch getting sound on this thing, but it's working now. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Javon Stunner, and I haven't made a video in a while about unboxes and stuff. So, that's working cool. Um, I've got everything about... Uh, to my liking. I hadn't tweaked the dock or done anything with my background just yet but um, yeah it's, it's, it's a fully functioning deal. Um, I've got only two drives mounted right now waiting on those others to come in. Um, you just saw the internet and let me turn off push in so y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me turn off 
um, this one because I don't need it right now. Pretty sure I'm going off of Ethernet. And let me just double check, go to another one of my videos, and make sure. Yeah. What's up, guys? This is part two. Uh, and there's the me doing it without the keyboard. So, yeah, um, everything is working so far. Um, this bill, with, with research, it took a little longer than I anticipated. This is my 23-point-something inch monitor. Um, it, it's a weekend project. I'll tell you, I'll tell you straight up, if you're going to build a Hackintosh, it is a weekend project. Um, since this was my first time, it was a lot slower than it'll probably be my second time around. And I'm still learning. There's still a few tweaks that I want to do with this particular system. Um, I did overclock this system, um, and, but it's not showing up in my system preferences right now. Um, I will hopefully be able to show that at a in a later video once I figure out why that's not working. Um, another weird thing was on my particular case the USB 3 ports were not backwards compatible. I couldn't plug a drive into them and make them work. Um, and I did a whole lot of research, like three hours worth of research to find out that um, 3.0 port 1 on my particular motherboard does not do backwards compatibility. It has to be port 2 or 3. So that was a pain in the ass to get that to work, but um, I believe I did get it to work. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, everything seems to be working pretty good. Um, when I go to restart it, I've only done it once, so let's restart it now and see what happens. Go through the restart, and hopefully we get full functionality back. Hadn't tried it yet, but um, no time like the present. Heard the audio pop there, so we'll see what happens. We have this, uh, and I am running um, HDMI, so I'm not running anything else. Um, this screen is a little smaller than the standard boot screen, but it boots pretty quick. So everything else, again, is working. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm using the keyboard now. So yeah, I have myself a working Mac. Um, I will have one final uh, video once I have actually installed everything, everything. Like, for instance, once I've installed my Photoshop and all that other stuff, and I'll show you guys the final experience. But so far, so good.